There's been a population boom at federal prison since the 1980s, a big one. But before we look at what happened in the 80s, it's worth first delving into the history of the Federal Bureau of Prisons for a little bit of context. The Bureau, which manages federal prisons, was established back in 1930, and it's charged with the management and regulation of all federal penal correctional institutions. At the time, there were 11 federal prisons. By 1940, there were 24 facilities and more than 24,000 inmates. The number of inmates pretty much remained the same over the next 40 years, although the number of facilities grew to 44. In mid-2018, it looked a lot different. There were almost 184,000 federal inmates serving time in 122 prisons, or institutions, as the BOP prefers to call them. They are divided into six categories, minimum, low, medium, high, complex, and administrative. That brings us back to the question, what happened between 1980 and today? The answers are pretty simple. One, mandatory minimum sentences, and two, drugs. The Sentencing Reform Act of 1984 established mandatory sentences and abolished parole for federal inmates. It was beefed up with additional mandatory measures in 1986, 88, and 90. Add to that efforts to combat illegal drug use, crack, powder cocaine, meth, and more, and you imprison a lot more people for a lot longer. Indifference is not an option. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. Here are some facts about people behind federal bars. About 46% were convicted of a drug offense. The next offense category is weapons explosives arson at 17.5%. Almost 80% are U.S. citizens. Next comes Mexican citizens at almost 13%. 67% are non-Hispanic. 93% are male. 25% of federal inmates are serving 5 to 10 years. The next category is 21% at 10 to 15 years. Only 2.8% are serving life. And the age of people serving time is also especially interesting. 19% of the inmate population is 51 or older. The DOJ estimated that the Bureau of Prisons spent approximately $881 million, or 19% of its whole budget, to imprison aging inmates in 2013. The main reason they're more costly? Medical needs. 